friends, today we're going to read The Tiger and the Traveler from the book called Choice of Friends. Are you ready to read it? Then let's go. The Tiger and the Traveler. One day, a tiger, too old to hunt, was walking by a marshy pool when he saw a gold bangle. I may as well pick it up. It could be of some good use. I got the bait. Now I must wait for the catch. Just then, a traveler passed by the opposite bank. The tiger spotted him. Men are tasty, and men love gold. Hey, do you there? Do you want this gold bangle? I have no use for it. A gold bangle? It's tempting, but no, I must not risk my life for it. He looked at the tiger. Mm-hmm. I would love to have the bangle, but how can I trust a fierce beast like you? You have every reason to suspect me. I have been wicked in my time, but now, on the advice of a son of Yassi, I change. So come across and take this. If I come close, you may forget the son of Yassi's advice when you smell me. I won't. Besides, I'm old. My claws are blunt, so do not fear. Come, wade across the pool and take this. The traveler's love of the gold overcame his natural fear of the tiger. He seems to be telling the truth. I will wade across it and take it. But hardly had he taken a few steps when, oh, oh, it's a mire. I'm stuck. Help. Oh, oh, so you're stuck in the mud, I see. Never mind. Wait there. I'll just come and help you out. The tiger wa- waded mercilessly up to the traveler and pounced on him. Alice, what a fool I've been. I let greed overcome my reason. The end. Now, the moral of the story is you should never ever let greed overcome your greatest fear. Bye, friends. See you in the next book.